I came here to Stellington Hall at the age of 11. That's 56 years ago. The village is exactly the same as it was then. This is me, uh, Tony Kennedy. I lived in St Helens, Merseyside, but I've lived in Ireland now for many years. This is a magazine from the Verona Fathers. Stullington Hall was a place where young men took their O-levels and A-levels before going on to Sunningdale, the novitiate. This is an old picture of Stillington Hall in the magazine. Here the boys are playing soccer in the front of the house and this is Frank Heavey who gave me these photographs. I gave him a box of chocolates for them. He became a bus conductor in St Helens after leaving. These are some boys chatting after the Sunday Mass, they're all in the best places. This is a group of us outside the front of the building. I am the one just above the Father Provincial's head. There's three Scottish boys here and David Watts from York and Billy Bunnis, who's two of them passed on now. This is another group of lads with uh, Michael Webster in the middle, who's written an article, there he is, an article for the uh, archives for Stellington. This is the view from the top of uh, Stellington House looking towards Cork, it's a bit blurred. On a clear day you could see York Minster 10 miles away. The tree was a beautiful tree. This dormitory stretched the whole length of the top floor looking out towards York. And this is the end of the staircase. Uh, when I stayed there I once was sleepwalking and suddenly woke up in front of the clock down here and got a terrible shock and I dashed upstairs as fast as I could. And this is a priest saying his breviary in the rosary uh, walk. There was a linnet's nest halfway down, which I often explored. The linnet came back every year. It was a peaceful place. Here are the statues leading up to the house. And this is my mother with two sisters who came to visit me. Uh, it was a long drive over the Pennines. There were hours there. I spoke to my sister and she said they couldn't wait to get off the bus to get to the bathroom because there were no motorways in those days. And this is me in my fine blazer with my baby sister Eileen. And here again is uh, Joan and Eileen with the McDowells on the right. Here is the chapel where we came to at night and over four years we must have sung the Salve Regina at least 1200 times before we slept. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordia, Vita Dulce, Do Express Nostra Salve. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. And this is Father Grace on the left, who said to me once he never fasted in Lent because it made him cross and feel very unchristian. On the right is Father Hirons. He was about 30 odd years when he was there in Stillington. He left the priesthood eventually and became a taxi driver in Canada. This breaks my heart, it's Stillington Hall being knocked down in 1966. The Verona Fathers left it in 1960. It reminds me of the Latin phrase, we will learn a lot of Latin, Sic Transit Gloria. And so passes the glory of the world. What a wonderful time we had in Stillington. Now gone, and all that's left is the estate. This is where the 
Parkfield Estate now stands where Studdington Hall used to be. And this is the notice for the future. Studdington Hall was too small and it was too far away. So this notice here is wanting, looking to Murfield, where we went and picked potatoes while they built there. <laughs>